Yes, indeed. Yeah. This will test your dusty brain. <laughs> He's the unlikely YouTube sensation who's inspiring a generation to embrace maths. Eddie Wu brings the magic back into maths. He's a teacher whose online lessons have been seen more than 120 oh, wow. million times. And in his new book, he hopes to demystify the world of STEM. Welcome back to Studio 10. Yeah. 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 It's a Year 12 exams are underway as we speak. What's been the feedback you're getting on this year's maths exams from students? Yeah, look, I know there's so much stress and anxiety that can come up with those kinds of times of year, but to be honest, it's a little bit like getting on stage for a drama performance. All that stress leads into a high performance. So the feedback I've been getting from kids is actually they're pretty happy with how the exams are. Oh, that's are. good. Oh, that's good. good. It's good to get some positive feedback. Mm. Uh, my issue uh, is that I am not very good at maths, but I need to teach my children maths. So sure. how do parents teach children maths? Maths when they don't know maths. Well, just what I would say is that makes you absolutely normal, uh, <laughs> right. like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. And even as someone who is maths trained myself, I remember when the pandemic put us all in remote learning. I was thinking to myself, my kids are primary aged. Oh, I have some things to learn here. And actually, that's probably my key piece of advice. We want to be learners alongside our children. We don't need to be the experts, but we need to be patient with them and say, OK, maybe you can help me learn something yeah. here too. Yeah. <laughs> and Eddie always helps us to learn. And you've got yeah. this new book as well, which kind of takes us into the classroom, I suppose, is it? Uh, you've got a whiteboard, which is well, handy. which always puts me on edge. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to teach us, though? Well, Tristan, don't stress, because today I want to talk about uh, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. That's kind of the topic of the book. Mm -hmm. And STEM's all around us. It builds our modern world. So I kind of wanted to give you a bit of an example of okay. that. Would that be okay? Please. Oh, yes, so you're right. here so and you've got the board. some props with me. So this is just a simple basketball. And what I want you to pay close attention to, because Jess, you're going to help me here, sure. is what path does the ball trace as it moves through the air? Just watch it. You know, you can see it kind of has this... What? what well, how would you describe question? this shape? What, what kind of shape is the ball tracing as it moves An arc. Oh, an arc. Yeah, very good, an arc. So I this, have been great at this school arc age. has a special mathematical name. We call it a Par parabola. parabola. Very good, oh. Ange. So this is the kind of shape you get. <laughs> Now, this is the kind of Did you read the book so already? You're the, girl, you're the type of girl I'd copy. Traced under the, <laughs> the force of gravity. But this is the only shape that gravity can make. For example, if you ever think about, say, the moon yeah. going around the yeah. Earth, obviously not to scale, yeah. it very <laughs> roughly makes a circular kind of orbit. Yep. Right? So you're like, we've seen this kind of thing before. Yep. Last little shape I want to expose you to is, if you think about the sun, right? Um, you guys know what comets are, right? Yeah. So Halley's Comet is a famous one that yep. comes around every 70, 80 years. It doesn't make a parabola, doesn't make a circle. It makes kind of this long sort of shape, oh, this nice. sort of stretched out thing. We call it an ellipse. And you can only see Halley's Comet when it's on this side, when it's near the sun. That's why it comes around every now and then. Now, these shapes, parabola, a circle yeah. and ellipse, they look like they're kind of so separate. But, Jess, would you mind helping me with this little prop over here? Yes. Because actually all these shapes are bound by one idea. So this is a cone here. Mm -hmm. And you can see, if you slice across the cone, you can see that cross-section there, yeah. you get the ellipse, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if we, if we cut right across the top, we would get a circle. Yes. And then yeah. if you want to just go get that other cone there, okay. Jess. God, I'm, so, yeah. I, I'm not going to hold this one. <laughs> You're so Don't helpful. try and get, be the teacher's favourite. I've got no, it. You're the Madonna. Don't try and take my <laughs> life. <laughs> 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 we can help you with that ellipse there. <laughs> um, and if you hold up this one here in red, you can see the shape that's there is, it's this parabola shape. You get all mm. three yeah. shapes from this one cone. Now, this is just one of the examples of how maths is part of science and exploring all those ideas is what the book's all about. You are just so fabulous. The way that you teach and explain and, you know... It, yeah, my brain doesn't hurt as much as it used to in maths class. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. an amazing yeah, thing. That. Yeah. You don't get that actual physical pain. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so did you bring any... By any the hardest chance, part is bring... remembering all the words. <laughs> what, what are they called again? That's an ellipse, that one. Ellipse. Yeah, ellipse. And that's a problem. And altogether we call them conic sections, sections. because yeah. they yeah. cut a cone. Conic I feel like if you, if you just see, remember, you know, what you were saying and then repeat the second word, it looks like you know it. Yeah, I'll run with that. Sections. Conic sections. Oh, this well, is wonderful. Eddie Wu's new book, The Wonderful World of STEM, is out now. Looks absolutely brilliant. I think it's everyone so should good. grab a copy of this. We love having you on the show, Eddie. Thank you so much for coming Always in. a pleasure.